What's up everybody? So it's been a little while since I've done anything for my channel and today I just want to do a quick bike check of this 2023 Marin Alpine Trail 7 that I've been building for personal use. What makes this bike pretty special is that although it is like hooked up with a ton of really sweet parts, there's not a single part on this bike that I didn't find on sale because there's a lot of stuff being put on clearance right now pretty much on any retailer worldwide. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got. Alrighty, so we'll start off up front. Um, this is a DVO Diamond D1 fork that I found on eBay. These retail for I think $750. I got a new takeoff unit for $350. Now I rode one of these forks for a little bit of time when I had a Fazari Delano comp and I really liked this fork. So when I saw that that popped up for $350, it was like a no brainer. Moving on to the wheel set here. These are from Speed Vision Bike Shop. I believe they're in West Virginia. Uh, there's a fellow by the name of Ryan that I believe is the owner of the shop. He laced these up for me completely custom. I spec them with silver silver Industry 9 Hydra hubs and what he calls the Dream Spokes, which are powder coated in whatever color you want. And then they're laced to the Stans Flow Mark IV hoop. Aside from that, we also have the blue valve stems on there. Um, I went with blue because I was also gonna use blue bolts for the rotors. I have a 203 rotor up front and a 180 rotor out back. They are the SRAM center lines and I got those on sale as well. I think I spent 40 bucks for the pair. As for the wheels, they were not on sale. However, we did work something out um, because I was going to introduce you guys to Speed Vision Bike Shop. Y'all need to check him out. He does like the sickest builds. Um, you know, you've probably seen them on other channels as well. I still have the factory brakes, but I did add the metallic compound pads in there. I think I got them for $18 a pair, which again, is a sale. And finally up front, as far as what's down here on the bike, I have the Specialized Eliminator T9 tires. Um, I got these for $35 a tire. Hopefully that sale is still going on so you can take advantage of it. Uh, when I noticed that they had this going on, I bought four of them. I've got two on this bike and two on another bike. Okay, now moving on to the cockpit here, we have the PNW range bars. Um, PNW had a sale going on with a lot of their older inventory, so I was also able to score a PNW Lone Lever, the first generation. Now they only had orange in stock, but luckily there are orange hits on the frame of the Marin Alpine Trail 7, so big score there. Um, I got these gray ODI Rogue Elite grips. Love these grips. They were on sale because of the color. Found those on Amazon. They may still have some left. And then I have a fun stem here in the anodized gray. Now this was an eBay find. It seems as though I may have come across the actual fun account because this particular account only had fun parts that were like new takeoff. I have one of my limited edition Cure Cycling stem caps. These are a bit older. Um, I may do another run in the future and it's in a matching gray of the stem with a blue bolt to tie to the valve stems as well as the rotor bolts. We also have the Shimano brake levers. These are the Dayor spec. Um, you already know about this. This is a lever hack I do on every bike that comes with the two finger levers. This is way more of an ergonomic and useful setup for the way I ride. And then lastly at the cockpit, I have the, the XT shifter. Um, once you get to that XT, XTR level shifting, you get this real crisp, sharp, tactile feeling shifting. And I'm a big fan of it, so I had to put the XT shifter there. Now moving over here by the saddle, I have the PNW Loam Dropper Post. Now I got this on the PNW Cycle website, which takes uh, returned items and they refurbish them like brand new and then sell them for half off. So this was like $110. This is the 200 millimeter loam, which I had to down travel to 190 because it was a little bit too long for my legs. And then on top of that is an SDG Bel Air, another eBay find, I got it for 30 bucks. Moving down on the bike here, you'll notice I have the RockShox Deluxe Select Plus shock. Now this is the factory shock for the bike. I felt no need to change it. Um, I know a lot of people prefer the way the piggybacks look, but I don't need the extra weight of the piggyback because the descents aren't very long here. So there really isn't any threats of suspension fade. Moving on to the cranks, you'll notice that I have an SLX crank and chain wheel. I love this crank. It's very light for the price point. Now this was a new takeoff unit that I scored for hundred bucks with the chain wheel. So Finally, I have these Crank Brothers pedals. I found these on 365 Cycles. They are the Mallet ELS, which stands for Long Spindle. Uh, they were on sale because of the color. The pedals are green splatter and they're a perfect match for the frame color, so win-win for me. Moving to the back of the bike, you'll notice the matching wheel. Again, Industry 9 hubs, colored spokes, stands, hoops, all made by Speed Vision Bike Shop. We have the matching Eliminator tire by Specialized, um, but as far as the drivetrain is concerned, it's full SLX, so I have the SLX cassette as well as the SLX shifter. Um, you won't see any $2,600 transmissions on my bike, 
Mid-level stuff is perfectly fine, ships beautifully, super reliable and also super affordable to replace if you happen to smash it. All new takeoff parts, again, eBay finds. I'm a huge fan of eBay. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap up the bike. So if you have any questions about the bike or if you have any questions about where you might find some good sale parts, feel free to drop a comment. I'm really good at finding stuff like that. Um, make sure to check out Bikes Online. That's who sourced the bike for me. Obviously, I do a lot of work for them, so make sure to check out their channel as well. Remember that the ride is secure, and I'll see you next time.